for having us. Uh, I'd like to uh, acknowledge uh, some of the people here. Salati Maben, thank you for having me. Kuna, mga pangalanan ng karamihan. Kaya na, namin si Pastor Rod. Thank you po, uh, Pastor, for joining us tonight. And of course, Pastor Tito, na uh, namin po ni-choice namin sa Ubel. Uh, isa isa mga tinitingan na ako kayo. Sa tanda na po dyan. Okay, so. And also, I have in this si uh, Mel Sinatron, sa po sa ministry intern namin. So, may po yung nagpapasalamat for um, uh, inviting us ngayon gabi na to. And uh, I think si Ate Mabel, ano na, alluded to this. It's a season of hope. Ano tama po ba? Anybody here, meron nang... Uh, Meron kang pinagdarasan na yung Chris, Christmas. Meron ba dito yung mga mga pinagdarasan? Yes. Oo oh, nga, may ayun. Di ba meron tayo pinagdarasan? Mga vidrano. Di ba excited? Kasi nung ito, pinukupelo mo yung siyang na simpang gabi. <laughs> Para ito pa rin yung pangarap mo. Alam niyo po sa every nature, dahil sa big report, may isa lang kami sambang gabi sa Sabado yun. Yan. Isa lang, magdut pa rin pangarap mo. Diba? Okay, so. Ang pinukupelo mo yung isang araw. But anyway, Pagka Christmas season ay yung mga balikbayan pa, sa mga kamangalan natin. I'm sure dito sa Malakay na lahat kayo may bonus. Ano? Piti may bonus? Piti ba? May surprise kayo sa inyo. Under your chair. Check nyo. Under your chair. Baboy ka. Okay, si Kuya. Si Kuya po makakabal. Ang bilis ni Kuya po. Pakikwala kung ibabot ka. May mga nagkasabi siya. Okay, so. Wala na. Alam ko kayo na. Alam ko kayo. Okay, so the president na hindi siya na May video president, may addition ito yung ano, mga 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 resident, okay? 60-60. Pero sino na ito yung, ano, madalas ka sa changgi na yun. Alam niyo po, every Christmas season, we're full of hope, right? Sasagutin ka ng niligawan mo, di ba? Yung mga pinagampuan ka sa Pasko, sasagutin kita, di ba? Kung oo, 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 hindi. I don't know, there's something about December na you're full of hope. This month, or this season, magkakabalik kayo ng nanay at tatay mo, tama? This season, uh, mapapatawag mo yung biyanan mo. Sino rito may biyanan? Na, alam mo, sabi sa Bible, He who finds a wife, finds favor from God. Wife lang, ay hindi na ako. So, hindi ko alam kung biyanan kasama sa package, okay? Mga kwento na yung biyanan mo. Yung biyanan ko na born again, ito ko kami sa dagit, ang kalati mo. So, yun na lang ako siya. Yung nga na po, after nyo sa service na ikaw pinapasa ko. So, ano lang namin yun, joke na namin yung service namin. Kaya pag may mga in-laws joke ako, tinatanong ko lang yun, mas mabi. Sabi nung mga asya na dito, ah, hindi tayo yung joke na yun. So, anyway, sabi ko sa biyan ako, mabira, mami, na born again ka. Nakikita ko kayo sa langit, akalahin mo, gano'n, masusundan mo ako. Tapos sabi ko, ay nila ito, sabi ko, ay nila ito, ay nila ito, sa langit, hindi na kami makasama ni Grace. Kasi sa langit, there's no more marriage, di ba? So technically, hindi lang kita biyanan sa langit. So pwede ka tayo dito pa hindi doon. Tawa lang siya ng tawa. So masarap ang blue pen. But seriously, to most of us, Christmas is a season of hope. Pero alam niyo ba, hindi naman lahat masaya pang Pasko? Alam niyo ba sa Facebook ako, ako rin study, break up highest in December. Grabe ha? Ang mag- sino rin ba yung nagka-break up ka ngayong December? Yan ako yung mga jowa, no? Meron ba dito? Binrek kahit araw pa ng Pasko eh. Alam niyo, alam niyo SMV, di ba? Sa mahal naman namin yung Valentine. Biroin mo yung abot ka, sa mahal naman namin yung Pasko. Meron mo mga single dito. Mga single, kami nga, ako na dito lang kami. Si ate ko, makakas na pag-ipaahos. Sama mo na pag-ipate. Mga single dito, kapit lang, mga pinagkatakla kanina. Kaya ito yung... Oo, makaya si ate, no? Mga single. At ay makaya yung mga single daw. Buti pa ang lapid na may date. Ayun na! Ayun na! Ayun na! Ayun na! Ay pinapa kayo. Ayun na kayo yung single. Ayun na kapit na. Ayun na. Nakakalo. Buti pa yung lapid na may date. Si Pastor, hindi ko ito ba? But seriously, look up here. As much as Christmas brings so much hope, according to recent study, By Forbes magazine, this is 2017, you know, depression tends to increase during the holidays. Now, to most of us, masaya pag Pasko, but I'm telling you, as a pastor, we counsel people for the first time this year, I tell you, anak nila, rebellious, kaya in rehab, this is the first time, yung tatay nila, himalay, I was just ministering to a lady kanina, na yung nakabuti sa kanya, nagpag-break up. To some of us, may mga relatives tayo, that this Christmas season, first time, 
Mga sisembre ng Christmas na, na diagnosed ng stage 4 cancer yung tatay mo or maybe any relatives na, na alam mo ngayong Pasko na ito medyo malukot ka. I, I just visited a friend who is also one of our head ushers in our church. Pangalan niya si Ariel Pranada and, and um, about 3 months ago we're having this uh, couples retreat na kita ko ang payat na niya eh magpunta ba pa sa atin yun eh. Sabi ko, ba't mo ba payat ka Ariel? Sabi ko, hindi ko story medyo hindi ako makagana kumain lately. So, anyway, we pushed him to have a, a check-up that led to, to another check-up. In MRI, uh, si Hitiscan, they found out na stage 3 stomach cancer. So, ngayon, as we speak, nasa St. Luke's siya, dahil nagkaroon na si Shure. So, it's gonna be the first time merong cancer sa pamilya. And I'm telling you, hindi nila sasalang bumin yung Pasko the way we're excited. To some, we know that for a fact because may mga member kami na we did a funeral. This is going to be the first year na wala yung tatay nila, na wala yung nanay nila. So, I'm sure a lot of us are hopeful, but also, the point is Christmas is a magnifier of the condition of the heart, right? Uh, I was sobrang saya ka dahil sinagot ka ng minibigawan mo ngayong December season or sobrang lungkot mo dahil binaray ka na mamagnify ang pagpasko. I don't know. Maybe it's a season of hope, but there are people, a season of hopelessness to some. And I know people na during this Christmas season, they're not gonna welcome it with full of hope. Either may nagiwalay ang asawa niya, saka siya, or, or some are hopeless and happy. So today, I'm just gonna draw your attention to this couple. And they're very much part of Christmas. Sometimes, hindi natin na yung story nila, pero this very uh, important part of the story of Christmas. And hopefully, uh, we can relate to this couple kasi um, parang tayo rin yung kwento ng mag-asawa na to. And uh, uh, today, let me just uh, share you the story of uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth. And pati, kilala din si Zechariah sa kasi Elizabeth. Of course, sila yung parent ni John the Baptist, right? Kailan si John the Baptist? Yung pinsa ni Jesus Christ. He has a very uh, critical role in Jesus Christ because he announced, he paved the way of the coming Messiah. So, very critical role din ang magkasama na to. I'm going to tell you a story na hopefully we can read. But before I jump to the story, let me just pray and let's just ask the Holy Spirit to read this letter to us tonight. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you for allowing us to come here and safely. Father, we just leave up to you this message. We know, Lord, that apart from you, we're nothing. And Lord, we know that you're going to accomplish your purpose while you send forth your word tonight. Yes, Father, use me to speak your word effectively to your people. I know you have a message to each and every one of us. Kaya, Panginoon, kaya mong buksan namin ang aming mga puso at isipan. At Lord, we pray that you minister to us kung may kailangan palitan, kung may kailangan ipalit, kung may kailangan tanggalit, kung may kailangan simulan, you minister to us, Lord, and you give us a teachable heart. Yes. As you minister to us tonight, rebuke us if needed be, affirm us, encourage us, Lord, God, through your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's look at the story of this couple. There was the days of King Herod. Kailan is King Herod? Medyo weird itong king na to. King Herod, medyo, may, may pagka... Pablo itong king na to, no? He had his uh, mother-in-law killed. Ang titila to, no? Kaya nalawa yung mother-in-law boy, okay? So, si King Heron, pag any threat sa kanya, pinapapatay niya. Sa hindi niya anak, pinapatay niya. Mga tropa niya, pag napagkipan niya, no? napagkipan niya, pati, pinapapatay niya. Eh, he, he was a king who killed a lot of babies during the time of Jesus. Two-year-old baby boy, pinapatay niya lahat. So, ang ito, may mga parang tayo to. Now, in the days of King Heron of Judea, Meron daw priest named Zechariah. So there's our story, okay? And the division of Abijah, okay? Ito na kajak pa to si Zechariah. So very clear, may dokumento na lang tayo yun, ano? Si Zechariah, short time niya, naging asawa niya si Elizabeth. Big time to si Elizabeth. Kasi si Elizabeth, nasa lineage ni Aaron. So imagine ha, yung naging asawa mo, nasa lineage ng first high priest. So kung baka si Elizabeth, binigigawa niya ng mga pare, ng mga priest, ba? Uh, uh, si, si Zechariah ng Ajapa, siya yung sinagot. Ah. Natagal naman sila magkasawa, and then here's their picture. They were righteous, blameless, and, and sabi nito, in all the commandments of the Lord, and statutes of the Lord. So, pag tininan mo, both of them were righteous and blameless. Parang, picture perfect. Lagi, lagi sila nasa time, kasi yung couple of the year, mga gano'n, 
Lagi silang mga nasa housekeeping magazine, at yun na yun, yung mga, mga sa kasayes magazine, okay, whatever. So, para pag tinila mo, picture perfect. Priest, and then yung wife niya, from the lineage ni Aaron, and then sobrang um, simply, wala ka na nahanapin pa. Parang SM, you got it all. <laughs> Kung may kulang pa, parang BDO yung mga yan. Yung fan grade. So, perfect talaga yung magkasawa lang. Until we see later on the story, there's a, short, there's a small problem. They have no child, barren, and old. <laughs> Kanina, I was to Pastor Rod. Ang kami yung pala citizenship, apat. Ang tindi na to. Okay? Senior citizen, yun ang inumre, no? Filipino, American, saka citizen of heaven. Grabe si... Uh, ikaw na, hindi ka na jacket to. May jacket na tayo na. Ano na jacket kayo na DYJ Pastor Rod? Pero ito ang problema nyo. As perfect as they are, look at the picture. Wala silang anak. Elizabeth was barren, and then medyo may edad na sila. Eh, eh, again, we can't relate, we can't relate much to this, kasi may mga kakilang tayo na barren, hindi nag-anak, pero hindi naman issue. Pero back then, look up here, pagka ikaw may babae, hindi mo mabigyan ng anak yung asawa mo, you're considered curse. In fact, because the Bible says, children are reward from the Lord, ayaw mabigyan ng reward ni Lord, so you must be disapproved and disfavored from me by God. Wow. Pag tinignan mo to, as perfect as they were, no child, parent, advanced in years. It's a ground for divorce, by the way. Pagka may asawa kang parent, you can divorce your wife. Hindi kinuha yun ni, ni, uh, ni Zechariah. So this please to God ang picture ng mga tao back then. So, let me ask you this question. You may not be parent, you may not have a, uh, uh, you may have child, or you may have been so young as of now, but anybody here, you feel like, you can relate to this couple na parang feeling mo meron something na tagtuyon sa iyo meron pare hindi pare walang buhay yung finances mo halos pinakisa ka tapos sa nanimiligro may may kanta yung next sa nanimiligro yung mas takot ka sa katapusan ng buwan kaysa katapusan ng mundo since ito ganyan kaya sa akin ang mga hulugan di ba? ah wala wala perfect talaga office of the prince di ba alam na nagbibay pa yung pastor di ito eh Ano ba ang tumalang sa buto ng buhay mo na ayaw na pumasa? Iyon! Hala, si Kuya, pangyayang parang takit. Ang tinagdaanan. Anyway, what do you hear? Parang, it's not that hindi ka magdadasal. Pero you have given up. Yeah, you're praying maybe out of deep service. Pero parang feeling mo, parang wala nyo nung pag-asa. Yung asawa mo sa mga bilang bahay. Ganyan ito sa mga bilang bahay sa ako. Yung nagdadasal mo sa mga bilang buhay. Yung kami, diba? Anybody here, yung sweldo mo lagi parang kulang? Anybody here, parang wala ang pag-asa yung anak mo umuwi? Rebellious siya. Nagkadik-kadik, buntis sa maaga. And then, let's continue the story. May ito na tayo. Ay, while, while Zechariah was serving as priest, God, uh, sorry, before God, his division was on duty. So, tuloy-tuloy na ipasisimbi niya kay Lord. Anybody here, nasa serve ka lang kay Lord pagka nakukawin gusto mo? And what if you stop serving because hindi mo na po pwede ang dadasal mo? Iba si Zechariah, parang. Even in the midst of seemingly barren, hope, hopeless, parang desperate situation, he continued serving God. Tignan nito, according to the custom of the priesthood, he was chosen by law. Now, you know that any idea, dahil wala tayong temple, pero I'll give you an idea. I was in Israel last month, ano? so medyo fresh pa sa akin to. We were in the very temple that is mentioned in uh, sa 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 Israel, sa Jerusalem, actually. So he was chosen by lot. Alam niyo kung gano'ng maraming priests para mapili ka once in your lifetime, mabigyan ng chance to enter the Holy of Holies. One in 20,000 ang chance mo. Because there were like 20,000 priests across there who bulat by lot, yung chance mong maserve on your lifetime ng pakaslim na chance. And yet, he was chosen by lot, lot rather, to enter the temple of the Lord. And burn incense. I'll tell you something. If seemingly everything is barren, God is intervening. Hindi niya alam that God has a plan. Kaya mga kapatid, kapit na. Hindi mo alam si Lord may pinaplano sa'yo. Yes. Mga kapatid talaga. Alright! Kuya, mag-inig ka para sa'yo lang. Okay? An angel appeared to him. Hindi si Loxin. Talagang angel, okay? 
And the angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of Jesus. I'll, I'll fast up the story. Na pili siya pa ita. He entered the Holy of Holies. When he was about to burn incense, we call him angel. Ano yung angel? Gano'n ka lalaki? Ano yung first sentence ng mga angel? May pili na siya sa mga tao. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. As in, pagbababa yung angel. Pabara, yung first word mo, alam mo na, oh, na ba, do not be afraid. Okay? Kahit sino ang glita, eh, eh, hello, angel, ang laki, ang ikutas siguro, ang laki ng tak-tak, di ba? Kahit ano gawin mo, kahit nakatayin lang yung angel, eh, matatakot ka talaga. So, lagi ito sabi, do not be afraid, whatever, okay? And second, right, of course, the struggle, when he saw him, and fear fell upon him. Because normally, but my angel, it's judgment time. Or it makes up a message, now the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah, look up here, for your prayers has been heard. Number one, God hears our prayers. Kung yeah. inakala mo minsan si Lord ay tahimik, walang reply, walang response, just wait. Do you have any idea when was the last time my miracle before Jesus came? It was 800 years ago since the last miracles happened. Grabe, no? 500 years ago since an angelic visitation. Alam niyo kung gano'ng katagal tahimik si God? 400 years God hasn't spoken. Sino rito yung ipapos na Bible? Alam niyo Old Testament? Di ba? Ano yung last book ng Old Testament? Malachi. Okay? Malachi. So yung Malachi, okay? Yung Malachi, di ba? Yung last, last book sa Old Testament. Pag tinitin niyo Bible niyo, may kulay white yan na page na, na blank. Yes. Tapos, after nun, yung New Testament na, Matthew na. Matthew. Alam niyo yung blank na yun? Kung ilang daan taon yun? 400 years yun. God, hindi po siya nagsalita, walang pinagdalang uh, uh, prophet or angel. God was silent, seemingly, for 400 years. I'll tell you something. God's silence doesn't mean His absence. Yes. Sometimes, para si God, para hindi nakikinig sa mga dasal natin, or prayers natin. I'll tell you something. If you feel like God is silent, it doesn't mean He is absent. I'll give you an illustration. Sino ito mahilig manood ng mga plays? Yung mga, mga musical play. My two daughters, they love to watch play. Hindi yung tinalo mo na ako. Okay? So, <laughs> so, nanood kami one time ng Annie and marami pa dyan sa Resorts World. Normally, merong first scene and yung magkakaroon ng intermission, tama? To prepare for that scene two, yung next scene. Ano yung intermission? Ano nakikita natin pag intermission? Ah, yan na. Kunti na lang nakasara. Alright? So, every time there's an intermission, people will go to the CR because sa atin na nanonood, nothing is happening. Tahimik. Pero alam niyo ba sa backstage, hindi siya tahimik? Alam niyo ba yan sa backstage? Ito. May nagpapalit ng costume, nagpapalit ng wardrobe, hindi eh, dita. Nagpapalit ng wardrobe, nagkaya sa makeup, pinakayos yung magdal. They're fixing a lot of things sa backstage. Look up here, this is very important. Sa mata natin, walang nangyayari, pero sa likod, they're preparing the scene for act number two, or scene number two. Let me tell you something. If God seemingly is not answering your prayers, I'll tell you something. Just because God is silent doesn't mean He's absent. Yes. You know what's happening during those 400 years that God is silent? Ngayon, ano na ito because of history. Dito din we know, sila pala, that God was raising this man by the name of uh, Alexander the Great, and then Alexander the Great was kicked out of, ano na, namatay na maaga, and then the Rome came to power, I get the picture, and then the Rome came into power, when Alexander the Great was in power, there's a common language named Koine Greek. For the first time in the world, you can talk to anyone else with one language, Koine Greek. Before that, hindi makakaintindihan yung mga neighbors na, 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 na nation. Hindi makikita sa yung language. When the Rome came into power, after Alexander the Great, they had this, what they call Pax Romana. It's very important, it's enough. Pax Romana is Roman peace. You can practically travel the world without being killed. Because the Roman controlled most of the known worlds, they're so powerful, the, the, the empire, you can travel all the world and do business without being killed or hold up. Now, also, this is very important, also they have this Roman road. 
Gumawa sila naman ng major roads, kaya ang verse is saying, all roads lead to Rome. Because of that, there's a common language, there's a common road, there's a common peace. Sabi sa Galatians 4.4, when the time comes, in the fullness of time, God sent His Son. The world now is ready to receive the Savior. Because pag nag-share si Peter ng, ng, ng Greek, everybody will understand. Pag sinyer ni Paul sa yung gospel sa Greek and then travel all the known world, the gospel will spread. Are you getting out the point? Minsan si God nakala mo kahimik, pero God is doing something. The end then, the birth of His Son came. Let me tell you something. God can take care of your hopeless situation. Anybody here you believe in God for something? Let me encourage you. God can take care of your hopeless situation. Kung kinakala mo na parang ang buhay natin, parang, pastor, wala na eh. Anybody here, tinanggap mo na lang yung buhay mo na ganyan na lang. And I just want to encourage you today, when when you think that your life is hopeless, kung akala natin, yung buhay natin, wala nang kakahinat na, right? If you have given up on your marriage, if you have given up on on your stage for cancer, if you have given up on your, I don't know, yung anak mo na wayward, if you have given up on your finances na wala nang pag-asa mabuo, I'll tell you something, God can do impossible things. Amen? Amen. Now let's continue with the story, right? But the angel said to Zechariah, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Not just your prayers has been heard, but also something that your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. Wow! Remember, Elizabeth was old, barren, and well advanced in years. Now, I don't know about you, pero imagine an, an 80-year-old woman. Meron ako yung lola nyo. Sinabi sa'yo ng angel, yung lola mo magkakaanak ha? Baka sabi mo sa angel, are you on drugs? Anong sense sabi mo? Imagine an 80 range na year old na babae will still have a baby. Right? So look up on the screen. The prayer of the couple has been heard. But also the prayer was answered, right? God not just hears our prayer, but God answers our prayer. Hindi niyo alam kung bakit ayon yan. Yes. I mean, have to consider to magkasawa. It's not that they're not praying. They've been praying and praying. Anybody here? Let's have a circle, pero lip service na lang. Hindi ko talaga hindi wala kayo na gagawin yun. Lord, kasawa pa sa ano mowing na Lord. Pero ano naging part na lang ano mo, lalo yung mga memorized prayer, when you memorize a prayer, parang wala nang dating, kasi parang memorized prayer, hindi memorize ko lang. I hope and pray that what you're believing God for, buhay pa rin sa puso mo. That God is all powerful and is concerned about your marriage, is concerned about your children, is concerned about your finances, is concerned about your health, is concerned about your unforgiveness, and nanay mo, gusto mo forgive that, pinagigay ka ng bata ka. I hope and pray that one day, you're gonna find parang a way to forgive those people. So let's continue the story before we end. The Lord has done to me, done this for me, sabi ni uh, uh, Elizabeth. In these days, He has shown His favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. So, imagine, he, she was considered cursed, and disgraceful kasi hindi niya mabigyan ng anak ng asawa niya and here she is, bibigyan siya ng baby ni God imagine for a moment the yung excitement ano and you will have joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth wow, ganda ng promise dito sa anak niya at hindi niya alam na yung si John is just part of the puzzle that God was building so, look at the Zechariah ito yung ayaw ko mangyari sa ating lahat so we're praying and in reality, we're down in God. Oh. Sabi ni Zechariah, How can I be sure of this? Nag-doubt na. I am an old man, and my wife is not just barren, my wife is also old. Anybody here? Nangyari Yung present reality is more. Kesa. Imposible magkaroon ng break. Kaya sabi ni Lord. Have you stopped believing? Nag-doubt na. 
Tumawa pa nga, diba? Si Sarah, tumawa pa. May mga bagay tayo, alam mong imposible nang mangyari. We have one in our church for like 9 to 10 years na we were alive. And they have their families of their own. They're part of our testimony <coughs> video. Na restore yung marriage. Pag tinan mo ngayon, parang, parang walang nangyaring hiwalayan ng araw na matagal. I've seen people, may AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Members namin na nasa same-sex relationship, and what kind of, niya, he thought he was free, he can have sex with anyone he wants to have sex with. Sabi niya, you know what, Pastor, I thought I was free because pwede ko gawin lahat ng gusto ko gawin, binata ako, tapos may sarili ko kondo, and now may pa-counsel sa sabi, meron siyang AIDS. I told him, you see, freedom is not the ability to do what you want to do. You know what real freedom is? Freedom is the ability to do, to do what's, what's right. right. It's actually the power to do what's right. So nung may age siya, it dawned on him, mali pa rin pinagagagawa ako, na-encounter niya si Christ, ngayon, for every reason, nagpa-check siya ulit, na wala yung age. As in amazing, may papel to back it up. So lahat ngayon yung mga, mga homosexual na mga nagpapakausay sa amin na may age, sa kanya namin binabato. Amazing! I don't, I don't understand the science. Yung pala walang gusto ni God, yung mga imposible. Kasi kung posible, kaya mo discarder yun eh. Sito dito na, Gusto mo lumaki swerte mo ng isang libo, kaya kaya niyo mag-instagram ka, mag-post ka lang sa tight-tight ng mga pinamili mo, makikita kayo isang libo, di ba? <laughs> believe God for the impossible things. Pero sometimes, are we really believing God na mangyayari yung pinagdadasal natin or it's just a lip service? I remember the story in Africa, there was a severe drought. Alam mo yung drought? Yung tagto yun? So there's this town na lahat, wala na talagang, wala na talagang tubig for many months or years. And then the pastor rallied the town people, sabi, mag prayer meeting tayo bukas ng gabi. Because I believe darating yung ulan pagkatapos natin mag prayer meeting. Ay di mga tao na excited, yung darating na yung ulan. Everybody who went to the prayer meeting, pinagtawa na nila isang matanda kasi may dalang tayo. Sabi, Lolo! Ba't may dalahang payo? Sabi niya, ang alam pa nariniwala tayong kukulan mamaya. Kaya di ba hindi ako sikunin? I mean, that dude is the only one who believe that it's gonna rain on that evening. May dalahang payo na yun. Para sa puhin ang papapala ng Diyos. Nariniwala ka ba na yung papapala ng Diyos darating na yun? Now, look up here. It's easy to say that. Pag bumaba ka sa puso mo, wala sa puso. Hindi sa kristyano tayo sa puso, hindi sa puso. Hindi nga lang yung sabi, mag-forgive ka, mag-forgive ka. Hindi ang forgive ko sa tatay mo. Dahil babahero, nagbabayaan kayo, nag-forgive mo na yung tatay mo. Saka niya ako narinig yung circus yun. Yung kwento mo circus. I don't know, it's just me. Ang galing na, hindi sa iba, pero tayo yung sarili nating faith para we don't believe in those things. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi ko yun. Narinig niya kay Billy Graham. Hindi ikaw yun. Hindi ikaw yun bro. Ikaw yun. Ikaw yun. Now look up here. Naniniwala ba kayong si Lord sinasagot yung prayer natin? Yes. Of course, God answers our prayers. Unfortunately, gusto natin minsan si God FYI lang. Anybody here? Hindi FYI mo lang si God. God, i-bless mo ako ha. Sige, dini-inform mo lang. Alam mo, si Lord nung answer in three ways. Alam niyo ba yan, si Lord? Ang sagot ni Lord, either yes, bibigyan kita ng jowa ngayon, kahit sa mas. Or not yet, kasi, alam, huwag ka mo naman boy ka, 10 years old ka pa lang, okay? <laughs> Or sige, sabi ni Lord, ayaw ko yung lalaki na yan, sex lang, harap yan sa inyo. Bumuntisin ka lang yan, kasi iwanan ka yan. Look up here. Anybody here, Nagdadasal ka kay Lord, pero you have a preconceived idea what's best for you. Sino rin nagdadasal ka kay Lord, hindi-inform mo lang si Lord. Lord, may negosyo ako ha, alangin mo to. Magta-tikes naman na to Lord, sosyo ka rin na Lord. Kasi konting under the table to, pero Lord, hindi ko na rin na to, magkamihan ko na nagkaka-inila. Style na bulok. Anybody here, ang galing mo magdasal kay Lord, pero paliwas sa mga pamamaraan niya. Si Lord, dito ulit ko sa'yo si Lord. Alakal mo talaga, si Satanas Bambos po ako. 
Guru ka under the table ba? Nagdadasal ka ng relationship. Yung kung di mo naging sure ka, binuntis mo, yung mga na mo eh. Nagdadasal ka ng boyfriend, eh di ka. Anybody here? God hears, also God answers our prayers. But here's the problem with God. Hindi siya nagiging tahan. And He knows what's best for you. Look up here. Si God, look up here, is very important. Si God, hindi siya Santa Claus. Who keeps record of who's naughty or nice? Pag naughty ka, wala kang gift. Pag nice ka, may gift ka. Hindi rin siya Jimmy. Ano ni Jimmy? Yung iniiwas mo, lalabas, bibigay yung wish mo. Hindi si God ganun. Hindi siya 80 yung type of dad na pumunta mo pag may kailangan ka. Pag wala kailangan, namanayo ka. Hindi siya gas station na pag wala ka ng karga, pumunta ka. Pag pa pumunta ka, nilalapas na pa sa kura si Lord. Anybody here? Imagine kung may anak ang ganun. May kalapita ka pag may kailangan na. I'll tell you something. Our God is God. He knows what's best for you. The question is, will you trust Him? Nakapagdadasal ka ng mga bagay na hindi pa sa'yo. I, I have a grown-up daughter, sa so 22 and 20 years old. I can't marry the dates of 10, okay? So, I'm <laughs> okay? okay? So, I'm so thankful. Hindi lahat ng maliligtas ko nung anak ko nung maliligit sila binigay ko. Hindi ko anak ko nung maliligit at eh, hindi nung maghingi. Para si Jimmy, 10 years old. Dad, hindi ko ako ng kotse. Wow! Sabi ko, anong kotse ito ang kotse? Kota, blue card. Wow! Sabi ko, anak, bukas nalang gabi na yun. Okay, so, imagine ko, 10 years old, binigay ko nung kotse. I'm so thankful hindi lahat ng gusto ng anak ko binigay ko. Imagine, papunta kayo ng buffet sa Sofitel, sa Spirals. Ay, yung anak ko naman, papunta pa lang, gigil na gigil na dad, I want that cotton candy, I want that. Anak, may spiral doon sa pupunta. Walang pahilot sa spiral dad, gusto ko ngayon, yung cotton candy. Anak, konti na lang, isang oras sa traffic, meron spiral sa mabiyan, mas masarap doon, mas malayang pagkain. Hindi gusto ko cotton candy yan. Our father is like that. He sees the future. He knows what's best for you. Sometimes, God is more interested in changing you rather than your circumstances. Yes. Ulitin ko, nag-igab yung isa eh. Pag nag-igab, wala nang hindi ko, okay? <laughs> Para sa'yo lang to, ate, okay? Isa lang, ate. <laughs> Madalas, si Lord, mas interesado maguhin ka kesa yung sitwasyon mo. Ling, huwag ka mag-igab ba? Sometimes, gusto mong malabas siya sa problema na yan, and God is telling you, hindi, alam, mag-stay ka dyan. Kasi mag-develop yung muscle mo mag-trust. Hindi, Lord, payamanin mo na ako. Gusto ko nang yumaman para maahol ako sa hirap na to. Hindi, diyan ka lang anak. Kasi hapang na diyan ka, natututo ka ng, ng uh, uh, integrity, matututo ka ng self-control, matututo ka, kailangan mo yung anak. Pag nakasawa, kailangan mo yung self-control. Pag kami, anak ka lang, God is more interested in changing you rather than your circumstances. Amen. Kung tayo lang, kayo na, baka ako lang, hindi ko ako nga lang eh. Kami lang ni Pastor Tito. Minsan, napaka-selfish lang natin, di ba? Yung mga pinagdarasan natin, puro mga kasarili. Parang kayo pakailang sa iba. Oo, oh, kulang yun. Wala sa inyo. Pagbigyan ng jacket na ito, ate. Lahat mga bayit kami lahat na ito, isang mga president talaga eh, no? Sometimes when we pray, it's so self-serious sa ito, parang magyabang ano. Yung pong part ng church at ang pastor, eh, may kalakihan po isang mga mga pastor doon, no, okay? Yung stocks of prayer request every Tuesday morning, nasa test namin niya. And kumagat po doon sa court is around 18,000 congregation. So dalawa lang po yung pinapastor kong services, mga 3,000 prayer request po yung nandun. Bilip niyo, pag binabasa namin yun, pag may chance na, okay? Pinagkakihan namin yung mga pastor. Karamihan sa mga request na puro makasarili. Eh. Hindi naman masama yun. Ah, hindi mo ko, ah, mapromote ako, sa mga tinong ng jowa ko, o mapapray ako sa jowa ko, hindi naman din naman si Lord eh. Dati pinapray ko yung boyfriend mo yan. Tapos kayo, gusto mo mong asawa, may naman gusto mong iwala yan. Sige, ito na lang ako sa iyo, di ba? Kasi minsan, we're pushing our own agenda. Sabi sa Bible, lean not on your own understanding. If all your ways acknowledge Him, and you will be able to pass faith. Karamihan sa akin, kaya palubalukot, palubalukot, ang naming purpose ni Lord. Paliko, pakalan, pakalan. Sabi ni Lord, ito lang straight line. Sundin mo lang ako. Ang dami mong gusto na hindi align sa akin. Kaya sa akin, there's a Zechariah in all of us. We pray for something, ay nandiyan yung sagot, ay yung questioning ka. Or, madalas tayo, nangungunan yun. Kaya 
angel, sabi niya, hindi mo kilala, I give prayer, I stand the presence of God, I give to bring you the good news. Look up here, your present reality does not limit God's infinite ability. And so the end, kung ano ba yung present reality mo ngayon? You may not be valid, pero ano yung sitwasyon mo na parang hindi fruitful ngayon? Parang walang buhay. Anybody here married ka, pero you're just there for the kids? I know people like that. Nasa isang bubo, pero nandun na para sa mga bata. I, I'm counseling one right now, 25 years of being married. Hindi na sila makapaghiwalay kasi tatlong anak nila, para masisira pa yung ano. So, wala ang intimacy. Tanan mo, kailan hindi nag-sex? Oh my gosh, hindi man ko, ano yung pastor, ah, um, You'd rather lose the battle outside than win the battle at home. All the accolades, Rotary Club, Sagabi, Night Club, Tawamaka, Golf Club, ang galing sa labas, ang sa bahay. Yung misis, may sarili mo to, may zoom pa naman to, may ano, may sila. They're in one room, merely existing. I don't think that's what God had in mind when He invented marriage. That's not marriage at all. That's coexisting. May sarili mo to siya lagi, may sarili mo to siya babae, magsasama naman pagkakin ni reunion o ni dinner, yung anak pakita na, they're just there for the kids. Nakakalungkot. Pero we have people in our church, na Rico walks up our church, 35, 40 years of being married, pag nakita mo, ang gabi naman na si Six. Yung, yung putin na mo, sobrang in love sa isang isa. Your present reality. Ano yung situation mo ngayon na imposible talaga? Pag tinignan mo, lahat, hindi ako kalis graduate, Nandito lang ako sa pinakababang posisyon, wala akong pera, mahirap naman sa pamilya, hindi ako magkaanak, sobrang dami kong anak, I don't know, yung mister ko, sumukoy ng bahay, tatlong taon na, hindi ko alam. Ano yung present reality mo? Pag binangga mo sa faithfulness ni God, God, bukang tagilid ka rin ko, pre, matindi itong kalaban natin si Satanas. Tatlong kamit ng asawa ko, parang mahirap ako yung Lord. Kaya ba, hindi yun? Si Lord pa naman dun siya, dun yung gustong gusto niya nang umapit. Kasi he's a God of impossibilities. He's a turnaround expert. Kailangan mo lang, you offer it before God and watch him do his part. Some of you need to let go and let God. But sometimes, I not let go. Madiscarte pa rin mo sa akin. Kaya si God naman, gentleman, o sige anak, gusto mo yan, discarte mo yan. Dito lang ako, pagka nabating ka, tawag ka lang. Because God is a gentleman, because if there's one thing, that God has given us, and that's the free will. The free to obey Him or reject Him. Why? Because He, he desired genuine relationship with you. For genuine love to, to exist, you must have a choice. You can't even get a choice with God. So, tapusin natin ito. Abort na kayo sa akin. Okay? Malayo pa uwi ako. Dari kahit ako. Tapusin na natin ito. Okay? So listen up. God hears our prayers. Also, God answers our prayers. But lastly, listen up, it's very important regarding your prayers. God's answers are bigger. Everybody say bigger. Bigger. It's bigger. It's more than just for your own consumption. Minsan, ang liyat ng tingin natin sa Diyos natin. Lord, bigyan mo naman ako ng pera. Sabi nyo, tansan yung pera. Pamili ko ng bago sa patos. Yeah, maybe you Lord dyan. Kaya sabi nyo, lakihan mo na anak, para mabili mo na sa patos yung kapibahay mo. God, when, when God answers our prayers, that healing, it's not just for healing per se. God wants you heal so that a lot of people will be blessed for your testimony. Kasi sa totoo lang, may stage 3 cancer, lola mo, nani mo, pag pinagaling ni Lord, makamatay din naman yung si Lazarus, patay, ginuway, namamay din yun, physically. But God wants to answer your prayer because it's accomplishing bigger than kung ano man yung gusto mo lang. Let's look at the story. Sabi dito, kay Zechariah, yung anak mo si John the Baptist, he will be great. 
Eh? Pag sa ng mga drink of wine or strong drink, He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from His mother's womb. And ano pa niya? He will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. Mean to say, bibigyan kita ng anak si Karaya. Pero hindi na para sumaya ka. Ano na ang dakala? Ilan taon na lang din. Ilan taon na lang din din kayo. Ay, di mo makita magdibuyang si John the Baptist. Okay? Pero it's beyond you. It's bigger than you. You can be a blessed to sa iyong anak. Yes, pag i-enjoy kayo yung asawa but it's bigger than just what you're believing before. That's what God is saying. Para siya part of the puzzle, do you have an idea kano ka kayo pinakalaking puzzle? The jigsaw puzzle is 32,000 pieces. Grabe yan, ano? 32,000, 42,000 kilograms, uh, pounds pala rather. Ginawa nila yan ng ilang araw. How many days itong ginawa? 100, ano lang? 112 8-hour days. 112 days yung ginawa, 8 hours a day ginawa para ma-accomplish siya. You see, the birth of John the Baptist was just part of a big puzzle that God was, you know, binuburi God. Kaya sometimes, look up here, when they're believing God for something, God wants you blessed so that His name will be magnified and glorified. God wants you healed, that's for sure. He wants you healed. Pero for what? Para mo trabaho ko ulit? Yeah, maybe. Pero God wants you healed because God wants to use your testimony. God wants to show to the world, I'm a healer. I'm a God who hears and listen and answer your prayer. But my answer will be bigger than just your agenda. Gusto ka ni Lord magkajowa? Ngayon mas po. Para mapakita mo how to treat her right, how to honor her body, how to treat her with purity and absolute purity. Para makita niya may mga lalaki pa pala sumusunod sa Diyos. Hindi lang puro sex ang hapon. Totoo yung Diyos mo. God wants to hear and listen and answer your prayer, not just for your own consumption, but for greater purpose. Sabi na kay Abraham, I will bless you. Why? So that you will be a blessing. So let's look at the story. I'll end now. Sabi ni, uh, ni uh, Elizabeth, the Lord has taken away my disgrace. Sabi na kung bakit? Dinalaw niya si, uh, uh, si Mary, si Mother Mary, dinalaw niya. And then, of course, Mary gave birth to a son as well. A few months after, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Alright? So, ito na yung rule. I'll end with this time. Here is Jesus Christ's description, alright? Sabi nito, She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from poverty. Is that what it says here? I'll tell you something. Sometimes, go up here. Sometimes, we think that the greatest solution to all our problems is money. Tama? Anybody here? Kinoon ka tabi mo? Mukha mong pera yan? Hindi yan yun. Hindi siya yun. I know, I often hear this sa mga member namin. Alam, basta kung may pera na ako, wala na akong problema. Sabi ko, alam mo kung totoo yan, di sana walang mayaman na walang problema, May parang pa ako mayayaman, nag-iiwalay. May kakonsep kami. Ang gayaman, nag-iiwalay. Gayaman na, 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 na bumang sa yaman. Nag-auto mag drugs, mag-alcohol, mag-casino. Nung mahinom sila, intimate sila. Nung yumaman, ang laki ng bahay. Hindi may kumbalis pareho. Wag ang nakawal ng katulo. So, ikaw dyan, ako dito. <laughs> Mag-aso tayo. Mag-aso nila, sinso. Bantayan niya si Jun Jun. Hindi na may makalabas. Ano niyo? Nag-iiwalay ba na yumaman? Lalo up here. Tingnan niyo to. Sometimes we think that money is our greatest problem. You know what? If your greatest problem is money, God would have sent an accountant. Or God would have sent an economist. Kung ang greatest problem ng human being is pera, God would have sent a business guru like a chinkitan how to turn one peso to one million in one year. If your problem is relationship, God would have sent a counselor. And here's how to counsel and maintain that relationship. That's not your problem. Your problem, my problem, is a problem with sin. You know why? Because sin will bring us to hell. The, it, it's a problem with sin. I, I, I hate to break the bad news. Some of you here were thinking, Ako, Pastor, mabakit, mapupunta ako sa langit. Ang sarap pakinggan, ano? Ang takong mabakit, pupunta sa langit. Ito daw yun. Maganda siyang rap, pero hindi ko to yun. I have bad news for you. Look up here, baka ngayon nyo lang dumanin eh. You see, some of us are thinking, Pastor ako, hindi ako makasalanan. Mabait ako. Papu 
pumunta ka sa langit. By good words. I'll, I hate, I hate to break the bad news. Alam niyo ba, good people don't go to heaven? Yes. Huwag ka tumingin sa akin ganyan na para ako sa tanong. Sa Bible yun, okay? Hindi kasi ganyan, pagbasa ng Bible, kaya hindi ko alam niya. It's in a Christian, pagbasa ka ng Bible, good people don't go to heaven. If you think you're good, you're gonna go to heaven, and two words for you, good luck. Because the Bible is very clear. Sinabi ng dahilan sa Bible. Sabi, it's not by good works, sinabi ng dahilan, so that no one can boast before God. If you can go to heaven by good works, sabi doon, then heaven will be a noisy place. Magpapaya ba man daw tayo? Sasabihin mo, oh, pare, ang laki naman dyan mo dito, praya, sa langit ah. Kaya naman na, pakaya naman ang mga jolog sa langit na. May scholarship program ako, may dalawa hospital sa mga may hirap, saan pa tayo ang form pala eh. Ang yaman ko talaga, pre, kaya pala ang laki ng mansion mo rito. Tapos ikaw squatter ka sa langit, ikaw squatter ka. Ano pare, iba ako lang, isa lang, good work lang, good work. Kaya yung patawid ng pusa, sinay ko, ako na matang ng pusa. Nakita mo yung futility. Look up here. A rich man approached Jesus. Sabi niya, how do I go to heaven? Sabi, good teacher. Sabi, good Jesus. No one is good. You know the problem? Listen up. The moment we're conceived, not the moment we're born. The moment yung exit ng nanay mo, yung sperm cell ng tatay mo, nagsama, nabuo sa ovary, nagkaroon ka ng heartbeat, you're sinful. That's what the Bible says. In Psalm 51, 5, kung nakasun na ito. Sabi ni David, I was sinful the moment my mother conceived me. The Bible says, through one man, sin entered the world. Kaya dumating si Jesus because no one is born morally neutral. Walang pinanganak na morally neutral na yun yung grade 1 ka, sinaksak mo ng bolpen yung mga klaso ito. Ayan, sinful ka na. No, 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 no. Baliktad, mga kapatid. We didn't become a sinner because we sin. Baliktad, we sin because the moment we're conceived, we're already sinners. Yes. Birds fly, fish swim, we sin. That's our nature. It amazes me when my daughter was like six years old. Ang ganda story. Naiingit siya sa classmate niya. She envies her classmate's pencil case. Ito yun ito yung mga mayayama. Ito yung mga 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 mayayama ko ng bata. Yung pencil case ko, yung kulit ko, yung malambut yung labas, yung mga misuksukan, yung may salamin pang maliit. Yung mga mayayama eh. Mayayama yung mga mayayama, gano'n, di ba? May mas mayayama doon, yung may katero ng large box. Ay, gano'n, gano'n, gano'n. Mayayama doon. Yung anak ko, yung lapit free lang sa pupons, yung may isang zipper gram. Six years old, envies her classmate. Hulaan nyo, saan ako ang anak ay envy? Kami hindi ko siya kinuruan. Anak, ang meso natin ngayon, envy. Daddy, ano yun? Pag may mas magandang toy, mainggit ka. How should I feel? Magalit ka! Sa akin ang bote. Walang ganon! Lumalabas yun at the right time. You know why? Because we're born that way. Kung may papasok dito ng lion sa isang empty na room, meron doon leto sa kabilang corner, meron doon steak na may dugo-dugo, saan pumunta yung lion? Sa steak. Kasi nature ka, carnivorous. Hindi na pumunta yung leto. Tayo, gina na chance, magpapornography ka pa rin. Hindi ka kailang tuluan. Pag nakita ko ng magandang babae na nakahubad, gustuhin mo yan. Ayaw ko nga yan. Hindi na ikaw gusto. We're sinful the moment we're born. Lagang mas lang yan at the right time. Kaya yung best friend mo, naging enemy mo, nung yung crush mo, siya niligawan. I get the point. Isa sa totoo, look up here, this very top. Guys, in-strain ko lang theology nyo. Baka mamaya kasi meron ko sa inyo dito, naliniwala, you're a good person, you're gonna go to heaven. I have bad news for you. Good people don't go to heaven. You know who goes to heaven? Forgiven people. Forgiven people goes to heaven. Otherwise, look up here, this is useless. Ito, kung si Jesus Christ mapupunta ka through good works, hindi na siya bumaba. If there's any other way to heaven, sabi ni Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father, sabi niya, except through me. Not to the mother, not to other saints, definitely not through good works. This is very exclusive. Sabi ni Jesus, okay, please, sa angel, please, sabi. Nasa Bible to, kung saan kasi kayo. Sabi ni Jesus, except Wow. That's the reason why we have Christmas. Because you, 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 me, all of us are headed to hell. Why? Here's what the Bible says. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. 
Walang exempted. Walang pinanganak na, ay ito, mapupunta sa langit, kahit na cute-cute na sila ito. Kahit gano'n, ang cute bata ka yan, simple yan ka rin. Oo, yan, ang cute, one-year-old, simple yan. Believe me. Lalo pa sa pagka-selfishness niya. Hindi mo kailangan tulad niyo, hindi mo ako ulit, di ba? Hindi mo kailangan tulad niyo. Rebellious na, bata pa lang, di ba? Sino? Hindi mo ako ulit, hindi ayos yung tata, ito ang tatap ko yan. Oo. Inaayos niya, hinihila. Sinful niya bala niya. I'm serious, pati nakatawa. Because the moment we're conceived in our mother's school, we're sinful. That's why we needed a Savior. That's why Jesus had to come. Because what we need is a Savior. Not an economist, not a guru, not a counselor. What you and me need is a Savior. Because that sin, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. Thanks be to God. Because God sent His Son. And now it becomes a season of hope. So what are your present realities? Yeah, gifts are good. Let me tell you something. It's a very gift. For the wages of sin is death. I love this. But the free gift of God. It's a gift. It's eternal life. From? From Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now let me end here. I know, we're not nice at it. It's the same time. Can I say time? Tino yung katabi mo. Kinalalin niya yan, okay? Takut aku nak. Isen up, isen up. Di kau nak kita awak agak bingit. Isen up, kita tulen jumpscreen. Kalau nak apply sih, kita tulen HR nanti kita tulen jumpscreen. To kill, steal and destroy. Yes, yes, yes. To kill any relationship, to steal any joy, to destroy your destiny that God has for you. The moment Satan entered into a man's life or woman's life, yang lain agenda nya, to kill, steal and destroy. Rasanya apa dia gawat? Relationship, lagi mo ng sin, masisira, mamatay, it will be destroyed. I have the other half of the verse because sabi, there's Christmas, sabi, I have come, that's the Christmas day that we're celebrating. There's Christmas so that, I love this word, okay? I have come, you know the word here? The word life, normally there are two words pertaining to life. Pag a Greek word, you have the bios, which means that's where we get biology of physical life. The word life there is different. The word life was Zoe, Z-O-E. See, Jesus now, to make the Christmas time, so that they may have life. You know that life, the Zoe life? It's the totality of life. It's the fullness of life. Actually, it's eternal life. He came, not just so you have a good marriage. That's part of it. That is a lot of people have a he came not for you to just have good looks, a good business. Pag namatay ka, hindi mo naman madadali ni Gosyo mo. Hello, namatay ka niya. Si Gosyo mo, hindi mo nandalang pera nila. Look up here. Your greatest problem, my greatest problem, we're all deserving death, and Jesus Christ came so that you may have eternal life. My open prayer this Christmas season, hindi mo makuha yung bonus mo, hindi mo makuha yung portin mo, hindi mo makuha yung NMT na gusto mo, hindi mo makuha yung Louis Vuitton mo, hindi mo makuha yung Joma na gusto mo, hindi mo maling asawa mo. My open prayer that this Christmas season, you'll have eternal life. Yes. Because that's the only reason why Jesus came. Yes. Because we're all headed to hell, and He wants you to enjoy life and have it to the full. Now, Every time I preach this, people will approach me, Pastor, matandali mo naman ang mga bola, ganyan lang, tatanggapin ko lang si Jesus, matandali mo magkaroon ng eternal life. I always tell them, because Jesus did all the job, all the hard work, all the pain, He never went to the cross. Yung hardest part, to die for the sin, we cannot do that because tayo mga may sin, only Jesus Christ was sinless, He's the only one eligible to die for our sin. So when people tell me, but ang dali nyo mapunta sa dali, eh, si Jesus na naghirap eh. You know the word that was used there, the telestine? Telestine. It's a carpentry term. Pagka carpintero, nagbigay na sa isang sa kliyente, sasabihin na carpintero, the telestine. Nothing to add, nothing to deduct. Eto, ito na ito. Gumagalaw siya. Hindi ito pwedeng the telestine. Kasi magagalit yung customer mo. Eh, paano? May sira pa ako. Si Jesus, karpintero, kung sinabi ng tetera sa tayo, uupuan mo na lang. Ang ganda mo na, three weeks perfect, malambot. Kung sinabi ka sa cross, tetera sa tayo, it's done. 
You know what? Listen up. If you try to do good works to go to heaven, it's an insult to Jesus Christ. Kasi what you're saying, Jesus, kulang yung ginawa mo. Datagyagan ko. Magpipinitensya ako pag biyarin sa anto. Jesus, kulang ginawa mo. I will beat the cross. Para naman ma-obit yung kakulangan mo sa cross. Actually, hiniinsult ko mo si Jesus. If you think you can go to heaven by good works. Good works will follow after you receive Christ. In fact, the Bible says we're created for good works. But after you receive Christ. Because before Christ, your good works means to an end, it's not going to work. My hope and prayer for all of us, this is very important, we're going to do communion in a while. My hope and prayer to all of you here today. The reason why we're going to have a Merry Christmas is if we will invite Jesus into our lives. Apart from that, I don't know. Some of you have tried some of you, may kakulangan sa puso mo. You've tried relationship, sex, boyfriend, boyfriend, nakatakot ang boyfriend, nakatakot sa marital woman, nakatakot mong asawa, hindi mo fulfill, fulfill. iPhone naman, iPhone, iPhone, nagsimula ka sa iPhone 3, iPhone 10 na na yun, nag iPhone 11 ka. There's something in you, hindi mo fulfill. Eh, nakala mo, kotse, kotse naman, European naman, Japanese yan, nagbutol ka na. Yung puso mo, may brokenness, may emptiness, hindi mo malam mo kung ilalagay mo. Kasi na-try mo na lahat. Sabi ni Blaise Pascal, a famous uh, uh, mathematician, there's a God-shaped void in our hearts that no created stuff can fill, only by Jesus Christ himself. And I'm telling you right now, if you feel like your life is only pulling down, there's no accident to give you today. God wants you to know you have Christmas for one reason, so that you'll be safe from your sin. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's just all stand. I'll pray for someone. Before we take a moment, I just, I, just, I just sense there's some here today. Some of you here today, you have given up, right? May mga prayer ka ita. Some of you nakalimutan mo na yung prayer na yun dahil ayaw na kumasa. Maybe some of you here today, you're believing God for something. Pero yung prayer mo, para alam mo yung parang dumadaan lang. Lord, yun, masawa ko. I don't know, hindi ko alam. Si Lord alam yung puso mo, so hindi ko alam, pero the Lord knows your heart. We will just stand with you in faith. Whatever impossible things or breakthrough you're believing God for. Finances, relationship restoration, healing of stakes for us, I don't know. But God knows. So today, we're just gonna believe God. We're gonna steer up our faith. Yes. The Lord, mukhang totoo yung sinasabi ng pastor na po. Mukhang totoo yung nasa Bible na. If there's something barren in your life today, I believe God is telling you, anak, just have faith. It's high time to put your faith in me. Bow down your heads and close your eyes. If that's you, you have something that you're believing God for. Na alam mo, pag sinagot ko si Lord lang talaga, just raise your hand. That's you. We're just gonna pray for you. Praise God. Come on, give me praise. Praise God. As a sign of admission, give me praise. Sabi mo, sasabi ko lang tayo, pag-pray lang kami, Panginoong Jesus, you see these hands, Lord God. Whatever, Lord God, yung nasa puso nila, that they've been praying for the longest time. Whatever, Lord, yung nasa puso nila, na parang imposible, Lord, mangyari. Whatever it is, promotion, restoration of relationship, financial breakthrough, relational dysfunction, maayos, forgiveness from someone, extending forgiveness to someone. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, nakikita mo po yung puso nila. Right now, Lord, we believe that you're speaking to them right now. Believe in me and I'll settle the rest. As you have promised in your word, if you have a mustard seed of faith, it can move mountains. And right now, Lord, whatever they're believing you for, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, open their hearts to believe in you alone. That you're a God of impossibilities. You're a God who's a turnaround expert. And the key is just humble ourselves and offer it to you and say, Lord, have it your way. Yes, I'm going to do this, God. But I'm going to do this. But Lord, now, you know, offer Nami to you all. As they raise their hands as a sign of surrender, in the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to them. Bless them, Lord God. Answer them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. He 
hear them right now, answer their prayers. We know that it's spirit that they're concerned on, and you're gonna give them the breakthrough, Lord God, because you're a gracious, loving God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 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 Ito naman, madami ng kwento si Pastor Bill. Let me just say, I'll tell the story about my daughter. I have my five-year-old daughter right now. Nung four years old siya, sabi namin ang kwento sa kanya, Anak, ito gagawin mo. So I want you to memorize our mobile number. Our mobile number is 0908-865-0352. And then she asked, How about my number my dad? And then I said, just remove the two. Sa dulo, gawin mo one. And we told her to memorize because we said to, to, we said to her, ano man ang mangyayari sa'yo, mawala ka man, okay, kung nasa mga tayo, tapos kamala kami, I want you to memorize. Remember that number. This morning, pupunta kami ng wife ko sa church dito sa Big Bay Ubel. Walo pa sa atin na green yung cellphone ng wife ko. Kung matawa, di wala ko. And then, sabi lang ng anak ko, sabi ng wife ko, bakit ka tumatawa? Gata. Sabi niya, Ma'am, I miss you na already. Uh, and then, sabi ko, grabe, no? Hindi lang pala kapag may kailangan tumatawa kasi yung yung anak natin. And basta anything na natin niya, she can remember our number. And then, pwede tayong tawagan. But let me tell you this. There is one thing that God wants us to remember. 2,000 years ago, here's what he said in 2 Corinthians. Let me just read. In 2 Corinthians, uh, in 1 Corinthians 11, 23, as I, as I read from verses uh, 23 to 25, it says, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you. In the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In contemporary dispersion, ang sabi ko dito, do this and remember me. In verse 25, it says, in the same way also, he took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. We are going to partake of the communion. But you're going to be to remember what the Lord has done 2,000 years ago. Yes, sir. Ano man ang nangyari sa buhay natin, ano man ang nananasin sa buhay natin, kailangan pa natin ng pag-asa, kailangan pa natin bumalik sa ating Panginoon, there's only one thing that we need to remember. What the Lord has done 2,000 years ago, what Pastor Jeff brings a while ago that Jesus died on the cross for all of us. Lahat po ng sagot sa tanong natin. Lahat po ng sagot sa problema natin. Alalahanin lang namin yung ginawa ng ating Panginoon. Kaya niya ulit gawin ang mga bagay na gusto niyang gawin sa buhay natin. So I want you to bow your heads and let us all pray to the communion right now. Let us all pray. Lord, as we hold on to this bread, this represents your body for God. Dalawang ibang taon na ang nakakaraan, Panginoon. May binigay mo ang iyong katawan. Kayo ang sumalo. Kayo ang nakaranas ng lahat. Panginoon, ang kahirapan na dapat namin maranasan sa buhay. And yet, you did that for all of us, Lord. You were bitten. Lord God, pinarusahan ka. Kasi alam mo, Panginoon, na yung maramdaman ko ay maaaring namin maranasan sa panangkaroon. But Lord, as we partake of the spring, Lord God, we remember what you have done. And we put our faith sa bagay na ginawa mo para sa amin mga buhay. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Let us hold our name with the bread right now. Lord, just like what Pastor Jeff preached a while ago, Lord God, good people will not go to God. Only those who are forgiven. Salamat Panginoon sa pagkat dalawang ibang taon na ang nakaraan Panginoon pinatawad mo na kami. Dilinis mo na Panginoon ang aming mga kasalanan. 
ginawa mong bago ang aming mga buhay. Ginaputi mo, Diyos, ang aming mga puso. And as we drink from this cup, Lord God, that represents your body, yes, sir. we remember, Lord God, once again, the power of the blood that you have shed on the cross 2,000 years ago. Wash away our sins. In Jesus' name, let us all drink from the cup. Thank you, Lord. Can we all lift our hands to God right now as we worship God? Lord, we lift our hands to you. Yes, sir. We remember, Lord, that you came here 2,000 years ago as a baby. Amen. Yes, and yet, Lord God, after three years, Lord God, 33 years of living here on earth, Lord, you gave your life for us. Amen. Yung pagdating mo, Panginoon, at yung pagbili mo ng buhay sa aming Panginoon sa bagay na hindi namin makakalimutan at patuloy na tuloy namin sa asang palatayan ng Diyos. Patuloy namin pangahawakan, patuloy namin isa sa pamuhay at patuloy na babago ng aming mga buhay. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. I'm going to die there. 
I was in Israel last month. There are three groups there. One for Catholic, one for uh, uh, mga Orthodox Jews. There's also one for Christian. I visited the three tombs. Let me tell you something. One thing in common. They're all empty. Because Jesus Christ lived. That's what the thief believed. And Jesus said, Today, you will be with me in paradise. paradise. One day when I die, walk soon, I'm going to look forward to meeting that thief. I'm going to tell you, become following. And I'm not going to it. Because he only did two things. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that he's alive and he rose from the dead. Four words, you will be saved. Don't you just use a asulat is if you do good works, you will be saved. Don't you just use a asulat if you become CEO of a company, you'll be saved. Don't you just use a asulat if you help the poor, you will be saved. Don't you just wish that as soon as God, if you maintain your marriage, you will be saved. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with what we can do because He did everything at the cross and then us stop. All you need to do is this. Receive and believe in this. Amen. And I believe it's no accident you're here today. Whoever you are, I believe God brought you here tonight to receive Him as your Lord. Amen. That is the greatest decision you've ever made. If there's anybody here you want to receive the Lord Jesus Christ, this is not a change of religion. If you're a Catholic, please stay Catholic. If you're a Christian, it, it's, this is not a victory thing, please. We're not inviting you to our church. No, 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 no. This is about having a relationship with Christ. Yes. A genuine relationship with Christ. So if that's you today, you want to receive the Lord Jesus Christ, raise your hand. Come on. This is the best decision of your life. Praise God. Last call. If there's anybody here you want to receive the Lord Jesus Christ, praise God. I see that hand. Praise God. For those of you raising your hands, sabi mo na Panginoong Jesus. Salamat po for coming here on earth 2,000 years ago. For dying for me. I know I'm a sinner. And I cannot save myself. But starting tonight, I repent from all my sins. And I now receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, be my God. Starting tonight and for the rest of my life. This I pray. And everybody say, Amen. Amen.
pray for you tonight. We can pray for the sick. There's this confidence. Lord, naniniwala ako sa pastor na yun. Alam ko na ako. In the name of Jesus, nanay, gagali ka ngayon. Amen. Alam ko ni Lord, panakastawa ka. Amen. And that's what happened tonight. Amen. Pagpalik mo sa kwarto mo, itetek ka na naman ng mga pornography pinapanood mo. Lord, in the name of Jesus, hindi na bagay ito. Alam ko ako, I'm a prince. I'm the king. I'm the, I'm, I'm the son of the king of kings and the Lord of Lord. Itako mo yung lakad ko na yan. Kapapuhin yan, hindi na akong babalik dyan. Ah, yes. 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 That's what happened tonight. Amen. You can stop sinning tonight because you're a child of God. You're a princess. You're a daughter of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. But we can't wait until the boyfriend says, "Dina pray diyan, anak ako ng Dios." So I don't know if I pray ako sa yung or hindi yung mga ako sa akin because I am a princess. You better treat me as such. That's what happened here tonight when you raise that hand. Amen. Amen. Yes. So let me God pray.